this thing where I can see. All right, we're back with more Ace Attorney. Uh, just, a, just this roll. Um, so we finished the first episode with the Connor to Sky. So we're starting in the next episode. Um, guess see how that goes. It seems interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? In me? In me? I get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. Doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. Can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess. Keep playing through my mind. What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Oh, uh, I guess. But actually more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry that that weather weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell would take a break with the day of sun. Is what that girl said. I'd stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. That's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling yourself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my 1500 suit. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we could get, we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Man pain never to end up under his knife. <laughs> Here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Miss Dr. Gray. That one... That one that screwed up was the mer was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good. And yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. That's right, about a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There are rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused the, that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malice, malpractice incident. Why would I? Now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath. Oh, I think you need, you think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, to focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing, seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? I mean, 
It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer and not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Maya Faye, you know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? <laughs> yes, am I wrong? She told me, she told me, so I'm not quite sure if, sure if. Well, we worked a few trials together, but she never went, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Uh, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. What? Wait, I'm not. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss, Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh, oh. Maya. I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. She gave me one condition before accepting my request. Condition? The condition is you, Mr. Ray. She said that she wouldn't do that channeling without first seeing, first seeing you again. Me? And that's why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? And so... That is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Clarain Village. Cute. So this is Clarain Village, Maya's hometown. Why, hello there. Hmm. What an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm, someone else is coming this way. Nick! <laughs> Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big of a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I would have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Till I become an adult, I have to work my work hard and be strong by myself. Oh well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> Looks like you've finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of the Maya Intelli Intelligence Network. Let's see. 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse. He killed her in what appeared to be an art car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? Tabloids. That's what I thought. Haha, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, guess so. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Korean village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spare medium. Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. That's probably true since the Fae ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl. Pearl Fae. 
she's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin? Wait, then that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly is a real geni genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I don't scare her when I tried to talk to when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into, drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. It's suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course I'm not. Pearlie's in my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of the Crane village. Aunt. Curly's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. All right, good luck, Maya. <laughs> Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same per perky Maya. Invitation mark? Uh, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. We, it will rain cats and dogs today, she said, with a straight face. Can't believe they allow such misguided reports in the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the guy weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splen splendid manner. Argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright. I have a copy for you, too. Oh, cool. Can I look at it? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Channeling chamber, side room, winding way, meditation room. Interesting. What are you going to do once this, once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry, and I apologize for being negligent. <laughs> that's what I have that's what I'll have a right with a confession the rain falling or my soul can finally stop the rain falling on my soul oh I said or oh I see so how did you hear about my affa I heard about her from an acquaintance a girl studying the occult at the college that girl introduced me to this village this is the home of the Korean school of channeling the home huh and Miss Maya is a daughter of the Miss of the Master, I hear. Master. Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there. Is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Okay. Door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where spirits and people meet. The iron in this door was very tempered, making it very solid. Looks like there's a strong lock on this door to top it off. Something with a lot of someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, there's a translation. Once in a lifetime. The message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed into it. Probably you, esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let me see. Here's one in English. It says, 100 ways to save money. I think a medium sounds like a rough way of life. Oh, I was just looking at this. The story leads out to the winding, wind, winding, winding way. <laughs> the weather outside looks really nice. She's in here. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. 
These flickering lights, I guess they're candles? Good sir, and who might you be? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, aren't you? Are you not, good sir? I have heard much, I've heard much about you from Mystic Fae. Is that so? Mystic Fae? Oh wait, Mystic Maya, I think he said Maya and I just kept saying Fae. I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fae. Nice to meet you. Uh, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps, oh, I, no, I just didn't click. <laughs> Was unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was, that, that was it. That what? That was it. Not for Mystic Maya and her assistants. You would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the poster boy for a how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Uh, thank you. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir. Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um... Uh, so about Mystic Maya... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs to the Korean channeling technique. Okay. Then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fey clan, I am merely a member of the branched family. Branch family? What's that? It says as it sounds, for a member of the branch family, no matter that her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Korean school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the master's. So that's how it is. So today's channeling will be your first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a tragic accident, in a traffic accident, is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here in this channeling cha channeling chambers. As you can see, I am the I am in the process of preparing. So this room is the channeling chamber, the place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh, oh. Secrets of the Korean techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stops Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, that in s if something were to go wrong, that is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pete. Pearl. <laughs> I was like, Pete? <laughs> Pearl, good sir. Pearl. She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd. She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What? A cute daughter you have. <laughs> a pure heart that knows not of the, the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please remain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance, an the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. I'm just gonna look around. This folding cream is really... Is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is fading too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Ku Ra In. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it earlier. I 
because this isn't an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy effect surface, and some branches of a sacred tree have been set in the predetermined arrangement. Good sir, I wonder if you would please not touch the sacred objects. So objects are being offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they may would, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed. She really didn't have to da talk down to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of this floor. The straw in the middle of the, the, the straw in the flooring feels like feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. Okay. Guess we'll go back out. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Looks a little out of place at a garden like this. There's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to the tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash. That makes sense. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in, although that incinerator piques my curiosity. I already looked at it. Looks like there's a room over there too. A peaceful feeling is an ameni ameni emanating from it. <laughs> it's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Okay. Oh, side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There is bedding spread out on the floor. Looks like someone's looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Uh, is that someone sleeping over there? Probably ex she's probably an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z's. If I were to wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell at me. It's probably a good idea to not disturb her sleep. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what, it, what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as a storage space. But here, it's decorated with some pretty flowers and beautiful hangings full. The decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Korean village, the heart of the channeling. What the? It's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here I can see the, wing, wind, the winding way and a little garden in the courtyard. Well... Hey you, hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Oh, I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh no! <laughs> oh well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in what, a year? Um, you're a lot of heart. You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo. I'm the one and only paranormal photographer, a lot of heart. Ah, so, uh, so I guess you're still still at it, being a photographer, I mean. Of course. Today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. Challenge's about to get started. Is it that time already? We also should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. A lot of heart, hmm? I've been judging her harshly because of that case, but I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. Let's head back, I guess. We will not begin the channeling. I stick my honored guests. Please proceed into the channeling cham chamber. 
With this, I can finally swat those pesky, pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. A? Me? Oh, uh, yeah. I sure would. Mr. Sigmaya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. I'll be fine, Aunt, Mo Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Miss. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Ooh, this is fun. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw dropping large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear madam, you have you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the I'm from the heart of the heartland. If that's so, then I humbly request that if you return to this heart of the heartland. What are ya? This is Kur Kurain Village. If you cannot follow our tradition and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow. She shut Lotto up. And that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hey now, what was that just now? It came from inside the channel chamber. Hey, th that's a gunshot. I excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bent my afro on it. M Maya, Maya's in there. Uh. <laughs> I would, but I don't want to trigger anything. Let's ask Morgan what to do. Miss Faye, what should we do? Yellow bitty ch chicken liver, what are you waiting for? Kick it down already. But the key. That key is one of a kind in this world. There's only that one. Even if I'm powerless to open that door. Uh, there's really no other way. All right. Stand aside, I'm going to break the door down. Wait, please. That sort of recklessness. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Oh. Dr. Gray. I... I was murdered. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. W what? Lana, at a time like this, times like this are perfect for stepping up shots. Anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quietly and inform the police. But hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. Oh my god, she's like possessed. <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs> the cell phone doesn't get reception way out here, so I ended up using the phone phone booth to call police. And they're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She really seemed on edge because of this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Oops. We gotta talk first. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical parent changes. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That one that's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? 
I hear he's good at surgery and suit and stuff, but his personality sinks like a wet sheet. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as that as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts ho a hollering. It must have been real rough to work for him. Okay. I guess we'll move around. Uh, Mr. Eight. Miss Faye, how's um Miss Digmaya? She has she has returned to this world. The spirit serving technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I'll just have to wait. Please, they're here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in a in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone a year later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you the scene of the crime scene, Detective uh, Jim Shoe? Uh, my name isn't Jim Shoe. <laughs> Two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Police are busy, busily running here and there. I don't see Maya an anywhere. Hey, don't touch anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, right? Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... The way things look now, the girl's, only, the, girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective like Gumshoe looks like a real professional. Yet something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... But... He was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife. They say the Vic, the Vic was shot, was first shot, was first stabbed, then he was shot. Ow! Oh. I'm just looking at it. Hey, can't be too careful if a kid like her can be murder, a murder suspect now, can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. Okay. She in here, maybe? Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Oh! Heck! <laughs> uh, I'm... Uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to... Fight... About time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh. I, no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that... Is that thing where, like, one, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's... Uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like... Like, totally a bummer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After all that effort, that's all she has to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Indy Mini. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology? Parapsychology. That's right. Oh. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Oh, this is the girl. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright Attorney. 
Attorney at law. So what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know on a good spirit me do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm. Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause like talking to the dead to dead people and like multiple pers personalities are my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came up- came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you- so you were sleeping here the entire time. Yeah, even- even- ever since lunch. So you don't any, know anything about the murder that took place? Like what? Oh that. I like totally know nothing. So who was like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray know each other, right? Uh, what? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Well, that's all I could talk to her about. Like a best, are you going to fold it? Like I had a really good nap and like, I was thinking of leaving it like this. So like, it's all set for tonight. Hmm. Oh, something new. There's no one here, as usual. Eck! <laughs> hey, how are you? You're a pearl, right? Hmm. Silent as ever. What's that? She's got in her hand. I've seen it somewhere before. Um... What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough. Oh. I don't know where I'm going. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take take place right by her. Lada? God, don't let it be me next. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one that's scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Did you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Uh, huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get ya? This is just too much, I say. What is too much? They ain't a cult photographer. And some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more with more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah. What is it? I took some I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Ah! She did! Two even. Seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside of me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the sentry. Oh. <laughs> Who's laughing? I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. Why does it feel like I we've been through this before? I guess I'll move around. Oh, there's so much jumping. Oh dear madam, you must have, a, have an impeccable timing. Such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Um, 
All right, everyone, listen up, you two pal. I'm gonna give you all the brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. Propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Oh, it's the next day. Ugh. Morning, I guess I must have nodded off, nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Nick! Nick! I... Maya. What am I going to do? Never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. Channeling. So you're the master or something of the Korean school, school of channeling. Actually, my mother is for, is for now. Since the title is passed from the mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that the channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Oh, yeah, because I must have seen... I've seen it with my my own eyes. Maya's channeling a spirit. Not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? Ooh. I went into that room, Dr. Gray locked... When it, I went into the that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat across from him. Okay. I closed their eyes, and I began channeling. This is sounding kind of, like, kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. That's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself and my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have? Did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is all about the information I'm going to, to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you're prepared, okay? Huh, prepare it? What is it? The document requesting me to be your, your attorney, of course. But, What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty, but I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person. These two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you if you defend me, you'll you'll lose. I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? It sounds like it tomorrow. Unusual. Zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a Maga Magatama. It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly. I'm sure she'll lend you her power spiritual powers. Okay. So we're going back to the village. to 
say Maya no matter what. It's her life on the line. I don't know what happened in that room yesterday. I don't think I looked around in here. All bus stop that says Korean Village on the signpost. Buses seem incredibly con inconvenient since they only come three times a day. It's an old style phone booth. Can't say it fits in fits in with this area too well. My cell phone doesn't get reception up reception up here, so who knows? I may need it later. Giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. Its origins are written on a beat up on a beat up old sign. <laughs> That's what this says. It looks like the giant rock is called the Korean Boulder. It's a really complex explanation written here, but long story short. It's a big stone for spirits to live in, or something like that. Rustic thatched roof houses where the vi other villagers live li live lying on where the other villagers live lying on the live <laughs> rustic thatched roof houses where the other vi villagers live line the street. <laughs> Jesus Christ! They're nowhere near as large as the nice or as nice as the manor in the front of me. It's kind of odd that I don't see any of the other villagers walking around though. The biggest, most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This is Faye Manor, the place Maya comes home. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. I think I looked at about everything that at least stands out. Meditation room nurtures and nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums and trainer. I wager it's pretty, but it's pretty deserted. Deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Well, there's no one here. Can we come in here now? Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance to thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue too. Oh. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea is so bitter you'd lose your tongue and jaw drop on me large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Erk. She's one she is one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as I as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tra tragedy? Yeah, I'm Mary Mary, so I killed him. Maya! Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. <laughs> What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit serving technique. Spirit serving, severing technique. The spirit of that nurse was inside the Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to, stand, to send the nurse spirit back to the other world. I wonder that if this, this kind of testimony is even a minute Admissible, admissible, in the court of law. By the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt, but how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself, herself steps inside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean... But Maya, I mean Mystic, Mystic Maya. That was her first channeling. That's why I insisted on locking the door. However, I, nev I never thought that that would be also... That would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible in incident. And that would be... 
the folding screen there. It is the Korean sacred writings. Along with the Korean sacred urn, they are the village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out something like had happened to either one. Oh, the humanity. Not for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilap dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. Th that's very impressive. Till now, the women of the branch, the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the Dane family. Yes, Pearl is channeling Pajiti and is the pride of the branch family. Wow, she is really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Well, I guess we'll... Can I look around? You have an expensive folding screen and also looks quite old. Uh, let's take your test. I can't read it. This is... It's a hole. Could this have... Could this have been made by a bullet? Oh! Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. Ugh! <laughs> I want to look around. So we found a hole. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. Light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. No one's hiding back there. <laughs> well, just look. Just take one of the candles and look. There could be something there. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. Mirror-like object with a cloudy reflected surface. Surface. The branches of the sacred trees have been set in the predetermined arrangement. I guess they're using I guess they're used during the channeling. Oh. What's happening? This is where the medium sits, I, sh I assume. There are four panels of this flooring. The straw in the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes kept, kept getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center. Well, I guess that's about it for now. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Oh, hey! Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith Wright. Well, I got like three letters, at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you up here? So like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college and, um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy too? What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why did you drop mid-sentence? 
Did I? So like, what was I talking about again? If Lada ever wanted another genu genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. <laughs> so, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to like, study here. Like what? Like, the Miriam's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is, is the real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here, or like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree, the carefree type at least on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him like yesterday too. That's right, her reaction yesterday when I asked. Yeah, she freaked out. Oh, really? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. He is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Well, I don't have anything that I could do to prove you wrong. <laughs> oh, there she is. Heck. You, you surprised me. Now how are you today? Hmm. Guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Um. Oh. Huh? Well, I had something that would catch her interest. Maybe then she talk she'll talk to me. Hmm. Something that would cast your interest. Is there anything I could do here? Phew! Feels like I've I've been gone forever. It's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where is that newspaper Dr. Gray bought brought the other day? Oh. Ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing I left. he left behind, so... Oh, he, this is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Maya must be on another round of questioning. I hope the detectives are taking it easier on her, but these kind of cases aren't usually taken lightly either. I guess I'll come back later. Okay, I gotta do something here. Maybe I can show her the paper? I don't think I can show her the paper. I think I need to show... What's her face? Any. Um, maybe this will get her to talk. Like, I'm really sorry, but... And I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? Oh, wait, I can give this to the little girl. Hold on. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. I forgot about that. But Maya said that. Eck! I'm in trouble now! If Marker and Caesar's like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. That's... That's Mystic Maya's. Huh? Sh she actually spoke. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright. 
I, uh, worked with Maya? Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Nick, Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? Then I know who she picked Nick to up from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. What? <laughs> so then, of course. You're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're do going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't... Things aren't like... Hee <laughs> hee. I can tell you're a good person. <gasps> Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so... revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because... because you're special to her. <laughs> Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? It's channeling school? Yes, for example, I studied the Quran, Quran technique. Ah, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Law- law year? Yep. Is that related to spirit medium in any way? Um, not that I know of. Hey, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. I did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Accept it? Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me... Hehe, <laughs> you look like a child at a store. At a toy store, Mr. Nick. She's not... She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Yes. Um, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're just too cute. To be, you're just too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this mag Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this ma Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when you meet someone hiding a secret. Oh. I know where to go to. <laughs> Well, again, we seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How old do you think I am? <gasps> I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like totally don't know him. What? Heck, what is that? Yeah. You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see the these psychic locks, Mr. Nick. Psychic locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you'll see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please you, Mystic... Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. 
I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. You make you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think if you don't think you have the put the proof you need, you must have the have the courage to stop. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Let's give this psych block thing a try. Uh, let me say first. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to do right now, so. I'm gonna ask you again. Did you know Miss? Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. This girl is hiding something, I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first, I have to use Maya's Akatama. So, oh wait, what do I do? I thought I had to, do I present it? Oh, okay. I think now I can do it. The victim? Mini Mini, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I have to, like, do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be impossible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you even, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility the possibility exists for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between any and Dr. Gray. Maybe this? Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Pearl did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. I don't have enough evidence. I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think through it more one more time. While it may be possible that you never actually... Oh, wait. How do I stop? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Okay. So I need to come back to this, I guess. Maybe we can talk to other people? Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be our lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. It's been really bad for you, pal. Just this once. I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. Ha ha ha. I'm not scary. Honest. Well, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. Det Detective Gumshoe, what are you showing her something? What are you doing showing her something that's dangerous? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what about Maya and the charges? That, what about what about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're if you're talking about proof, we got. We got a few pieces. You got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer, photographer is going to testify tomorrow. Puffy photographer? I'm speaking a lot of... <laughs> yeah. I wanted to see him. Hot as hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other, anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still know who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. Searching through his pockets. And boy, are those big. Hmm. It looks really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article. I think Dr. Gray might have might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Oh, I grabbed that already. 
about Maya's trial tomorrow? I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor... Von Karma? He's still alive? What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in 40 years in it, of his career, and he raised a fearsome discipline. Disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he you, he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Should he not be in the job anymore? Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial end? That's where the other pieces of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually a, su a successor. Oh god. Successor? So, um, who is the successor von to Von Karma? Literally, pal. It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. This kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm. Kid, huh? Wait a sec. Thirteen? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of thirteen? I mean, a prodigy like that. I would have heard something about. Oh no. Oh no no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stealth and is a great place to develop person's talents. Germany, huh? It's probably why I never heard of this person. Uh, still... So all it takes is something mentioning the name Von Karma. I get a terrible flashback to that case. We did it though. Stop it. Get a grip of yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore. And now that he's gone. Well, we can present this. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and Hey! It's that news story. The one about the mal malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died and co it caused a, caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping to with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. Hmm. <gasps> me, me, mini? How's her sister? Nurse said Grace Surgical Cleanup died. That is an immediate, like. Um. Motive. <laughs> I was like trying to find the word. Me, me, mini, nurse said Grace Surgical Cleanup died after falling asleep at the wheel. It must be like her sister, or, like something like that. Someone related to her. Okay. Um. I do really need to get water real fast. So let me do that. <laughs> okay, this has to get her to talk. Um. Okay. Here we go. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Minnie... Oh, Mimi Minnie, Minnie, Minnie. Minnie is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Minnie... Miss Minnie Minnie wouldn't have a... Wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So, you notice, she she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse? Perhaps a Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical, clin Gray surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that, tell you that, 
The clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Yeah, I did it. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My my sister name was Bimi Mini. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. So that's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Gray was really tough on people, like a total slave driver. My sis was like always coming home, totally wiped out, cause she was overworked. Wiped out. So is that why she fell why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy like drilled my sis so hard, so like that's why the accident happened. The one when the 14 patients died from the practice. Malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the, doc the doctor's fault, too. This is was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and stuff. And, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to, like, to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psych lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time is pretty easy, but you might need people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Well, we did it. We got that information. Oh wait, I don't want to come back here. Do I have anything new to talk about? Okay, no. Is there anything here? I don't think there's anyone here. Um, okay. Oops, that's not what I'm trying to do. Mr. Nick. Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Korean Village. Really? Wow, that sounds pretty amazing. You are going to meet Mystic May, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know Innie's secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to say Maya. I don't even know if I should go, on, go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I'm always out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. <laughs> Even without me being here, it looks like you learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's oldest sister and my mentor. She was a top top notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. <laughs> Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Yeah. You can smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making, making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But... So tell me about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. 
I see. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of, of your client. <laughs> you think Maya's not guilty. How can you be so sure? I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a ch dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had she had died and had been buried in the ground. That is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Why is my computer doing this? Which means an Oh my gosh, stop. Which means, it's Im which means that it's impossible for her to, dr to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. Set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and s show how she was set up. Okay. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Really? Oops. Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, eh? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. This? Yeah. Have you seen this key before? Ah, uh, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that hap that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't... It shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of, of evidence that makes your, your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... I didn't know it at the time. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. What? She has a lock? Mia, what the? <gasps> What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the sight clocks. What do I even present her? Which means Mia must know so something about the real murderer. For this to be something that she would hide under a lock and key from even me. What in the world is going on? Oh, why does it end it all like that? 